it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to this momentous occasion as we embark on an exciting new chapter in the history of our beloved school. Today, we gather to mark the commencement of the refurbishment of our school, kitchen, and dining hall on the Aaron Anderson compound, made possible by the generosity and commitment of our esteemed alumni, the 1999 year group of our alumni. So, Han, yeah. okay. So, um, we are all excited to be back here to give back to our school. And uh, we started this journey last year, November, when the 98 handed over to us. And um, we took the torch and accepted that we will do something for our school. So we went with all the stakeholders and we decided that we were going to renovate the kitchen and then the dining hall. And um, because of that, we have to raise about 2 million cities. We are on it. We've raised quite um, some substantial amounts and we still have uh, more to go. But then uh, we believe that we can do this with the help of everybody here. And today we are here to do the uh, kickoff or salt cutting and then also launch our project. So that's why we are here today. And uh, we are very much happy that everybody here is here to support us. So um, that, that's it. Uh, thank you, Mimi. Please continue. <laughs> This is Mimi and Danny, but when I was in school, they used to call me Mina Abu. The Mina comes from my full name, Bohalmina. I was in Kilsyth House. My name is Marilyn Kwasi. I'm a member of Auga 99, meaning I finished school in 99, 25 years ago. It's been 25 years since we left school. So of course, we have our legacy project to do. So we are here today in a Brie Girls to break a brick and start the project. I am on various committees for the project. I'm on the media and communication um, committee as one of the deputies of the commissioner. And then I'm also on events. So um, we are just trying to put out the whole celebration together. Um, in November, that will be the grand celebration where by that time, all the projects and activities would have been done. we we'll come back here and crown it all. So currently we are here to commence our project and it's been successful. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, I'll introduce myself briefly. My name is Yuki Niasewa Afo and I'm a member of the fundraising committee. An Arisco girl, yes, I think I think I have to make that very clear. All fans. <laughs> okay, so as you may be aware already, we are trying to raise two million Ghana cities for the Arin Anderson dining hall and kitchen. The kitchen is the most capital intensive so far and um, yeah we are looking at all avenues to raise funds including ourselves. So amongst us as um, 1999 year group members each of us is supposed to contribute a certain amount which we are endlessly trying to raise. We are also looking at various corporate organizations to help us and um, write to people to various organizations and individuals as well to, to help us um, achieve this aim. So that's currently what we're doing. This is where Irene Anderson people used to have their, their kitchen and then the dining. Okay. And then this is why we are here to make this place a better place, an ultra modern place for our students here to be able to learn and grow well. It's a legacy project and it's a legacy project from the Aoga 1990 or should I say year batch. Um, in terms of our legacy project, what we are looking at doing as a whole is to revolutionize the cooking and dining experience of the Anderson um, dining hall and kitchen. And the aim or target for this design um, proposal is to prioritize hygiene and functionality. My name is Josiah Ade. I'm an architect working with Pegola Creations Limited. Um, I'm a chief operation officer at the Pegola Creations Limited company of architects. We are brought in to propose a design that helps to revamp, revitalize and also improve on the use of the space in terms of hygiene, in terms of functionality 
and also in terms of user or end user experience. So our aim and target for the project was supposed to design a building that will help the users feel more comfortable when they are within the space and also aid them in achieving the best outcome possible that they can when using the space. Asay Magdalene is my name, I'm in Bado House, and I'm the main dining hall prefect of the Big Girls Cinema. So what I think of this project from the 1999 year group is that it's a very good initiative because currently we are facing problems with the Royal Dining Hall. We've received a, quite a large number of students. That's the first year, they are quite a large number and they, are eat, they eat in two batches, which takes a lot of time. So I think renovating this dining hall is going to help have dining at the same time and then they will be able to have classes normally without any hindrance. Um, there are a number of ways in which we are, we are raising funds. I believe uh, that should be shown on the screen. We have MCN Mobile Money, we have Chango, we have Pay Angel, and we have a bank account, GCB um, Bank, where you can, you can channel your, um, your donation. So our appeal to everybody who is watching or who is listening to us is that kindly contribute to a worthy cause, because as you heard from the young ladies, they are currently having to queue for, um, for lunch, to queue to have their meals, and that is um, having an impact on, on their social life and their educational life as well, because they are spending more time queuing and waiting to go and eat in batches instead of paying attention to their books. So, Quite a lot of work will be done because like we mentioned in the design, there's quite uh, a number of renovations that need to happen and it's starting from the roof level. It involves changing some of the roofing sheets. Some parts have to be done anew. Then we also have to change the ceiling. We have to also propose new ceiling designs, change the flooring designs. Um, the whole kitchen setup also has to be changed in the sense of how things are organized within the kitchen. So we have to redesign and re-strategize and reposition a lot of things within the kitchen space itself. And all of this is geared at making those who are going to use the kitchen more efficient in their delivery. So for instance, where they prepare, where they clean, to where they cook, to where they serve, all has been outlined in detail in the project. Um, also with the dining area also, the floor tiling will be changed and we are using very uh, efficient materials like um, terrazzo to just aid in the lifespan of the building so that it doesn't spoil or get damaged quickly. So a lot of considerations that we've put into the design also include um, rainwater harvesting, um, eco or green roof designs, and also making sure that as much as possible, we've made it um, um, friendly to those with disabilities so they can also easily access and also make use of the space when they are there also. Well, my name is uh, Wanda Madilo. I'm the president of the 1999 year group, PRESEC. And um, we have been invited to this lunch uh, as part of solidarity um, towards our colleagues who have also finished some 25 years ago. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had actually also invited them to the launch of ours. We are indeed very privileged to be in times like this, in the 25 years since we left school, and to be in good health and sound mind and to be here to support this project, I think it's nothing less than a privilege uh, for us. Uh, I understand the need, the growing need of having a decent place to have dinner, lunch or breakfast for the kids. And so embarking on this project to refurbish the, um, the, the kitchen, the the dining hall and then the pantry, I think that's a laudable one and we're indeed in support of this project. We think that this project will benefit the students directly in terms of the type of meals they take, how healthy it is and presentations and on time and, and all that. And so we are willing to support, we are willing to be part of this history and we are willing to, to, to be named as one of the people who helped to bring this project um, to, a, to a successful end. And so that when you also grow up, you can do more than we, we did. So today we are here to just break the brick, to officially announce our presence as 99-year group and what we want to do for the school. So we'll, we'll let the headmistress do the honor. Please stand here for us and then...
in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Two million Ghana said it is gone. Thank the Almighty God, first of all, for giving the mind to come back to the school and held them after all they could decide not to come i mean why should i go back to my school and give back to my school but they had that mindset of going of coming back to a big girls and all we can say is thank you so much god bless you and replenish you everything that you have lost in trying to get us an ultra modern dining hall all we can say is that god richly and abundantly bless you all for this project. We are so so grateful and we would like to come back to see how nice it will become if you give us the opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So our bank is Ghana Commercial Bank which is now GCB Bank PLC. That is where our account, our project account is domiciled. The name of the account is Aoga99 Project Fund. That's the name of the account. Um, with MTN Momo for this fund, or for this fundraising, is MTN 053-050-3962. We also have Momo Pay, and the number is 199-199. And um, the name of the account is Ebri Girls, Old Girls Association 1999 Year Group. That's the name of the account. We also have a campaign running on GoFundMe. We have another campaign running on um, Chango. And uh, we have a campaign running on Pay Angel as well. So there yeah, are numerous ways to, to donate to us. But you can always call the number that I've provided as well. I'll go over it again. 053-050-3962 if you wish to make a donation. Thank you. Thank you all for our project supporters, donors, and everybody who has contributed their quota um, to the commemoration of this project. Thank you.